Right, okay. Um, here we are again. Uh, final part, I think, of this particular radio. Um, it's back in the case and it's working, aligned. All the components have been replaced uh, that I was going to replace. Um, I've actually kept um, the last lot of components that uh, came out, so I don't know, there's one on the floor, but uh, the very waxy caps um, which will end up in the in the bin along with the ones I'm just throwing on the floor now which I'll pick up shortly. Um, so here we are, um, working, uh, as I say, we're currently listening to BBC Radio 4 on VHF and we can tune down BBC Radio 3 the third program BBC Radio 2 um, obviously not going to linger on these stations too long um, but we can also I don't know if you're spotting the magic eye in this window actually uh, all available from the comfort of your own home. Good times. The Amazon Black Friday sale. So there's well, an Amazon advert. Uh, and as we go off the station, we get back on. The one big problem that uh, caused me an issue, I'm going to turn that down again so that uh, you can still hear me talking. One of the issues that I, I did have with um, tuning this setup was actually my bench. And um, if I, again, bring the volume up and turn the floodlights on, you get that horrible buzzing. And that just shows that the drivers in the bench lights aren't particularly good um, so uh, for a radio point of view you can't actually use them while tuning up the set obviously I only discovered this while I was trying to do the alignment and wondering why I was picking up all sorts of horrible buzzing noises um, if we switch over to medium wave just let it kick in All you need is a guarantor with a good credit history. And again, to make your we get medium wave. Don't know how many stations I'll pick up. The bench is fairly screened. And the bench is actually in the middle of the house as well, so. You know, not having an antenna. If I can adjust the, the rod aerial for. Yep, there's one there. So that's BBC Five Live. Okay. There's another station there. That... And then we go to Absolute Radio on um, possibly the strongest transmitter um, in the area. So yeah, um, I could sit here and play all night long showing you this, but I think you'd get bored quite easily. So, it's in the box. The box isn't particularly nice looking, but I've done what I set out to do, and I've made the radio itself work as it should do, made it safe, and uh, hopefully uh, it should last uh, a good number of years. Um, 
in service um, may be used in somebody's uh, workshop or in their garage or, or wherever um, it's probably not fitting in with modern sort of uh, technology so you know people would rather have a nice shiny black stereo CD player everything in one um, I have checked the gramophone input although I haven't got it connected up at the moment and that does actually take in audio from uh, an external source quite happily so um, yeah all working hope you enjoyed this little series and uh, um, here we are we have the Ferranti A1016 radio up and running and working thanks very much and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next project series thanks very much for watching hope you like it hope you subscribe if not just tell me why you don't like me thanks very much Bye-bye.